Uh, well, we composers are very uh, fortunate, lucky people, I suppose, because um, we all we really do is channeling what I believe that it's out there, uh, without getting too mystical. But it's uh, you know you you hear this music in your mind and you want to share with other human beings. One of the greatest joys uh, for a composer, uh, at least in my opinion, is to just sit back and watch other people uh, bring the music to life and see how wonderfully they interpret what you heard and they add their own personalities and their own universes and their own colors and their own uh, facets to the music. Playing Miguel Kertzman music is really, really challenging. It's an amazing experience. I have done it already before. Uh, I performed his 50 Doors of New York piece in the concert house in Vienna. And this was the real challenge to learn and record his concerto for violin, horn and shofar. Myself, I only played the violin, but it was enough because it's a really, really difficult part. It has everything. It has really lyrical and, and very rich sounds in it and also it has many, many technical aspects as well, so it's a real challenge for a violinist. Fantastic and also an incredible challenge for a horn player to switch the instruments between the horn and the shofar and the horn part is, is already very difficult. It's high, it's low, it's quick. Sometimes it's slow, it's very hairy, very light, sometimes it's very strong, very loud. Um, anything that a horn player has, you have to put it in a piece, even more. We just finished recording uh, my new concerto for, for violin, horn and shofar and um, for this particular project I've been extremely um, lucky. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very privileged and very happy to be working not only with dear friends but also with some of the most amazing musicians I know. I, I really love London, I've, I've all, I always have, you know, it's, it's a great city and to be working um, not only with these amazing, beautiful musicians, but also with such a fantastic orchestra as the London Philharmonic. Um, it's a privilege, you know, it's, it's every composer's dream to see her or his music realized by such great musicians, from the orchestra to the soloist to the conductor. I'm one of the luckiest violinists alive who who was able to really participate in such an amazing project. Not only to record with such an amazing orchestra as the London Philharmonic, but to be conducted by Maestro Dennis Russell Davis. Thank you. 